morning. Welcome to the Earnings Fashion Academy. My name is Justice. Welcome to another interesting video tutorial. So in this video, we're going to be learning how to take body measurements. Okay. We're going to be seeing areas that we need to take our measurement for this pattern drafting technique using the Nathan Gray method. It's obvious that most of us, if not all persons here, knows how to take measurements, but then I still want to show you where you'll be taking your measurements. And then I'll be writing out in the group areas that you need to take the measurement so that you too can take your own measurement. I expect you to take your own measurement and submit to the group accurate measurement. Okay, so without wasting time, we're going to start taking the measurements. But before then, according to the textbook, it is believed that the fewer the measurements you have, the more accurate your measurement. So how do, what do I mean? It means that when you are taking so many measurements from a person or a dress form, you're likely to make, especially from a human being, you're likely, likely to take um, make mistakes. Either because you become tired or the person is tired or the person is not standing properly, stuff like that can contribute to um, inaccurate measurement. So the Nathalie Gray method believes that if you have few measurements, then you can calculate the orders. So in the textbook, there are a lot of calculations as per the uh, measurement that you had, of which has already been calculated. Right in the textbook, once you have your bus circumference, you all um, have measurements that fit into your bus circumference, and you can copy that to draft your pattern. But the truth of the matter is that the measurements might not actually work for everyone, even if you're using the accurate bus circumference or for your size. The measurements might not be so accurate for you. So. It is important that we take our measurement at least to, to cross check with what we have in the textbook. So, as per the measurement area, I'm going to be sending the table of average measurement and proportion. I'm going, I'll snap it and send to the group so that everyone will have it, right? We're going to be taking our measurement. We don't want to use the measurement in the table because it might not work accurately. You can just use it to cross check your own measurement, but then we well, want you to make use of your own measurement. This means that while taking your measurement, you need to be careful, you need to be serious, you need to um, be mindful of what you're doing. If it means taking the measurement two times for you to get it accurate, please do it. Let your um, clients or whoever you're taking the measurement from be patient. Kindly and calmly take your measurement, but at the same time, make sure that the person is comfortable. So for you to help the person to be comfortable, you don't have to be very close to that person in order not to make um, her feel so much uncomfortable that you want to grab her, you understand what I'm talking about. So try as much as possible to be professional in whatever you are making and um, do the right thing. So without wasting time, we need our bus circumference. So we all know where to get the bus circumference. I'll be using this to take the measurement. So while taking the bus circumference, you need to make sure that it stands or hangs very firm, even at the back, it shouldn't be dropping down, okay? Make sure it is firm and accurate from back to the front part of the bus. Take your circumference. You don't have to take this very loose and you don't have to make it very tight, but make sure it is firm with your two fingers in between the measuring tape. In this case, we don't need the under bust. What we need is the waist circumference. The measurement we're taking now is the horizontal measurement across the body this way, right? So we're going to be taking the waist measurement 
a second weight measurement you can have. Okay, we don't need this time, so we're going to check it away. A second weight measurement you can tie something around the waist area for you to know exactly where you'll be placing your tape. And to follow the smallest part of the waist, you can follow this um, deeper part of the back side. And in every human being, there's a part of the back, the lower part, that dips inside at the back. So you can follow that line to get your natural weight for your body, for your waist circumference, right? Or you can just tilt by the side and know which area goes in at your waist part. Now, this waist measurement should not be loose. You have to make it firm and even firmer when you're taking a slim body. The measurement is not supposed to be free. Please let your waist measurement be thin, okay? Even though we don't want to make it too tight, but let it be thin. Then we're going to take the hip circumference. In this case, where you want the top to top, that is where the circumference is going to be. Where you want your blouse or the bodice to stop, that is where the circumference will be. So from the waist, you can measure down to about 20 to 25 centimeters to know where you want the hip or where the hip is going to stop. And that is taking the measurement from the waistline down to the widest part of the hip if the, if the bodice is going to get to the widest part of the hip. But using the test, we have 22 centimeters from the waist between 20 to 25 centimeters. And that should be around 9 inches long. You can get your hip. Or better still, I prefer to take measurements to wherever I want it to be because our height are not always the same. Okay, so we have the butt circumference, the waist circumference and the hip circumference. Now the next thing we're going to take is our cross chest measurement. A cross chest is above the butt area. You can measure 10 to 12 centimeters from the base of the neck, okay, to get 10 centimeters most, to get your across chest measurement. You take it this way towards the armhole. Towards the armhole this way. You can see where I'm placing it. You can either use the centimeter or use the inches. Like I said, we're going to knit both the centimeter and the inches together. So around there, you take your across chest measurement. So for the shoulder measurement, we are not going to be taking the whole of the back shoulder this way like we usually do. We're going to be taking the shoulder measurement from this neck point to where the shoulder slope is. So from here, either in inches or centimeter, you take your um, shoulder measurement to your shoulder bone, right? That is where to take, you can see where I placed it. We well, should use this other side from this neck point to where my um, shoulder bone is. That is where to take the shoulder measurement. Right now, the next part we're going to take is the across back measurement. Across back measurement this way. Towards the armhole, you get the across back measurement. This way. Towards the armhole, you get your across back measurement. Now for the cross back measurement, we're also going to come down 10 to 12 centimeters from the neck base. 10 to 12 centimeters from the neck base and we'll take the cross back measurement towards the armhole, but not inside the armhole, okay? We always know where the armhole comes. That is where the measurement is going to stop. 
Now for the length of weight, we have length of weight that is made to weight. We're going to take from the base of the neck. When you touch your neck here, there's always a neck bone, back neck bone around here. So from that back neck bone, that is where you're going to take your measurement down to the deepest part, part of your back, right? That down to the deepest part. If you dip your back, there's always a part that goes in. So from the neck base, take your measurement down to that part. Whatever you have, you're going to write it down, right? So the next measurement we're going to take is our butt fan measurement. We don't want to use the across chest to get our butt fan measurement. If you're used to Nat and the brain method, for you to get this um, butt fan measurement, most often you divide your across chest into two to use it automatically. The point that it might not always work. It doesn't work for me, so I believe it might not work for um, some other person. It works for other person too. I've seen people it works for, but not for everybody. That's why I said we're going to take our measurement the way it is and use it to draft the pattern. So you're going to take your across back measure. I mean your butt fan measurement. This is your butt fan measurement from the one nipple point to the next nipple point. You take your across of your butt fan measurement. Whatever it is, write it down. Please don't um expand it. Just take it from the nipple point to the next nipple point. But if you're measuring somebody, please don't, you know what I mean. Just place it as lightly as possible. Okay, so in the next measurement, the front length is usually not so important. The front length is usually not so important, but then we're still going to take it for the sake of um, taking from the next um, point here, the shoulder neck point, we're going to take it down to where we tied our waist line, right? We know how to take the front length measurement. So basically, these are the measurements that we need. So those are the measurements that we need to draft our pattern and believe me it's going to fit if you have accurate measurements so what i need you to do is to write out the measurements that we need according to how i've written it and take your own measurements or the measurements of the person you're going to be sewing for that is the measurements you will use to draft your pattern and sew it i've tied the proportions that we're going to get from the textbook maybe because some of those proportions you can still get it um, if you're used to taking um, drafting other patterns too okay so your assignment now is to measure take your measurements and write out the measurements and submit to the group this is very important okay so i'll see you in our next video uh, the table of average proportions